Let's dig in on some knots on the backcast. Check out Happy Naguyan. He's the owner of Goodwater Fly Fishing. I spent some time with him on Puta Creek up in Northern California. We talked a little bit about the knots that he was using. So what, what knot that I typically like to tie my, my nymphs on with is, I just use a regular clinch knot. Um, it's a great knot. It's strong. It's pretty low profile. Um, you could use an improved clinch knot, but sometimes I find with the improved clinch is you kind of create a bulkier profile on that um, that that knot. And you don't want you don't want your knot to be bigger than your flies, um, especially your when you're fishing these small, tiny flies here at Puda Creek. Uh, a low profile knot is pretty ideal to help minimize or hide some of your your faults and mistakes. WD-40s, um, midges, pheasant tails, caddis larvas, um, some caddis emergers, and then on this back side I've just got more midges, more caddis, and some um, check nymph style flies. Great information. I learned a lot from Happy Naguyan, who's the owner of Good Water Fly Fishing. He guides right here on beautiful Puta Creek in Northern California, up near Napa, just below Lake Berryessa. He also guides on the American River, the Feather River, and Sacramento. He does drift boat as well as walk and wade. So let us know. He has a lot of skill, a lot of knowledge, and we'll be really happy to show you a lot of stuff. So let us know if you want to be put in contact with him, and we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast.